So many of you in the comments have asked me which courses I should take. Do I have a course? Can I build a course? Where to go? So this is finally the weekend. We're doing it. We're driving to Corpus Christi, which is a beach town in Texas, and I'm locking myself in an Airbnb until the course content is complete. That's a little bit dramatic. I'm locking myself into the Airbnb until the reservation's over. It's only like a day or so. Before I get started coding, I received a comment from Eddie O'Connor saying, tell you what, I'll subscribe if you make a gear, desk, office setup video. And I know you wanted like a real one, but this is the light version of it. And hopefully that will hold you over until I do the real one. Let me walk you through it. So we have the 16 inch 2021 MacBook Pro 16 gigs of RAM. We have the F96 IQ Unix keyboard in Coral. Love it, mechanical cherry red. Razer wrist rest, LG MX Master Vertical, best mouse on the market in my opinion, Apple AirPod Pro Max, and then like a 22 inch HP monitor. Too easy. All right, that's a light setup. Let's get into it. So when I was trying to figure out what kind of course do I want to make, I had to think back to when I was first getting started, which I use a language called Python. But Python is like an invisible coding language. So what you write, you can't really see and interact with. And it didn't really resonate with me until I switched over to HTML and CSS or web development. And that's when I really started to like coding because I could see what my code was doing and I could also like show my friends and my family, hey, play with the thing I built. So today we're going to build a web development course, HTML and CSS. It's going to be a hoot. The main content of the course HTML and CSS is pretty straightforward. But what I was having trouble thinking of is what do I want the final project to be? What do I want like the people taking this class to build? And I think Twitter is the move one because it's pretty simple. Uh, layout wise there's only three main sections and secondly it's an app that most people know of they've seen before so it'll be pretty fun to recreate and then show your friends so i'm glad we agree we're doing twitter let's uh let's go build that sorry to interrupt but i have good news i'm going to vegas and one of you are coming along with me courtesy of atlassian atlassian is a tool that nearly every tech company uses to help teams work and collaborate using products like jira for ai driven task management Confluence for documentation, and Bitbucket for version control. So we're headed to the Atlassian Team 24 event on these dates in Vegas. This conference is all about teamwork and innovation, enhancing the way that people work together. Tickets for this event are typically $17.99, but if you'd like to be entered to win a free ticket, all you need to do is follow myself and Atlassian, like this video, and comment the word Vegas somewhere in the comments. Now, if you want to increase your odds, you can also reply to my Twitter and Threads giveaway posts with the word Vegas somewhere in your reply, and that will count as another entry. After that, I'll write some code and I'll randomly pick a winner between Twitter, Threads, and YouTube. Just note that this giveaway is for tickets only, so travel and hotel are not included. Now, if you know for sure that you can't make it in person, but you still want access to exclusive content and demos, you can pre-register with the link down below. Thanks Atlassian for sponsoring this video. Now back to coding. All right, yeah, things are going pretty smooth, but I am getting uh, pretty tired. I'm about 75% done with the Twitter clone and it's been really helpful to build the end project first and then go back and do the content because you can teach like a million things of HTML and CSS and teach it for years on years, but you don't really need to know everything. So I'm going to teach everything I needed to know to build this Twitter clone, but my brain is turning to mush. So I'm about to head to Starbucks to get a coffee. Medium iced chai tea latte with two pumps of espresso, please. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did have a few sips on the way and I've never really get two shots of espresso and I'm feeling overly caffeinated. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to focus. I got the jitters, but um, I have confidence. About 70% done and I should be able to finish the last 30% in uh, an hour, 20 minutes. Let's get it.
So I'm gonna be real. I um, was coding last night and I lost track of time. The sun went down and I got hungry and there was just no light to film. So welcome to the next morning. We did actually end up finishing the app and it's been a while since I actually coded HTML and CSS. And when I was first like learning to code HTML and CSS, like a regular person, I would Google issues, but building this, whenever I got stuck, it was so much easier just to ask ChatGPT, like, yo, what's wrong with this uh, CSS rule? And the difference between Google and ChatGPT is with Google, typically you use Stack Overflow and you get one answer that's vaguely similar to your problem. But with ChatGPT, you can actually post your exact problem and then go back and forth until you get the exact answer you're looking for. Really conversational, actually feels like you're working with another engineer. This is what people taking the course will be able to build by the end of the course. This is just getting started. So this is my version of Twitter. I know what you're thinking. Wow, he built a $40 billion app in a day, but it's a dumb Twitter. So none of these buttons work, but it looks pretty good. Uh, we got some top tier quotes going on here as tweets. Uh, we have Creed Bratton saying, I've been in a number of cults, both as a leader and a follower. You have more fun as a follower, but you make more money as a leader. This is the gold stuff. The app looks pretty good. And since we don't have any JavaScript in here, it's not gonna do much. We can't actually like write and send tweets, that, that won't work. But um, yeah, this is a great starting point for people who are just getting started with code. So on my next chapter of the course, we're gonna make this page responsive so that when you have um, the screen to mobile size, all the buttons look right. So I wanna make sure it looks really good on mobile. So the Twitter clone that we're gonna build in my future course is a lot better than when I started coding. This is my first app that I made. Um, in 2019, I was obsessed with credit cards and this is it. Not much to it. The design is terrible. Um, it's basically links to a bunch of other sites and a few uh, hard-coded bullet points, but I, I was so proud of this and this is what continued. Ah, that's my credit card. <laughs> and this is what like made me excited to actually keep on the path because I saw what I built and I was so proud of what I built and I wanted to keep building more and cooler stuff and that's how i became a software developer and now a developer advocate that's all i have for this one like always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one see you